Hey, it's Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim. You know, as much as I love getting out on the trail, getting up on top of mountains and that sort of thing, I have to admit, a lot of my daily hiking is really in urban areas like this. And for those kinds of hikes, I need a different kind of gear. Recently, I've been trying out some new everyday carry items as well as a really cool new pack that I'm using to carry them around. It's made my life a lot easier. It has relieved some of the strain on my back. So I thought I would let you see what it is I've got. Some time ago, I did a video on my everyday carry and I mentioned that I use kind of a layering system, categories of usefulness, how often I need to get to them and how quick I need to get to them, depending on what the situation is. So for some time, I've kept the gear that I need quick access to in my pockets, and then anything that I wanted nearby, but not necessarily on my person, in the messenger bag. The problem is, the bag has gotten quite full and heavy, and it was becoming a point of discomfort to carry it around. Now, of course, I could lighten the load on the messenger bag by simply taking fewer items, but at the same time, I was just tired of having my pockets full of stuff. I noticed that I had begun using the two front pouches on the messenger bag almost exclusively for things that I would normally consider pocket carry. And because of that, I was bringing the big heavy messenger bag with me everywhere I went, even when I didn't need anything other than what would fit in one single pouch. So I started doing some research online and I discovered a new kind of carry bag that some people were using and I thought I'd give it a try. So far, I'm a pretty big fan. Now, as far as the things that I keep with me at all times, I've got it down to a phone, a knife, and very often now, a watch. I know typically with the basics, I would also want to include my keys and my wallet, but those are getting carried in a different way now. I'll explain why when I get to my new bag. Now, my phone is just a cheap Samsung Galaxy. However, I do want to mention the case that I keep it in. This is the Lanheim Samsung case. It is IP68 waterproof, dustproof, shockproof. It's got a built-in screen protector. I have really abused this thing, and it has protected my phone in all situations. So I've been very happy with it. The other thing that has remained in my pocket is a knife. This is my Kubi KU329B knife. I featured it on my new gear for 2023 video. I still like this one. Although I've got several knives that would do the job, this one right now is my favorite. It is a fast flipper. It is razor sharp with D2 steel. It's got some G10 scales on it for a good grip. And it is pretty lightweight, coming in at around four ounces. And because a knife is the kind of thing that when I want it, I want it. I don't want to have to go over to my bag to get it. So it rides along with me in the pocket. Something new for my everyday carry is a smartwatch. Now, I don't usually wear watches, but when Fit Polo reached out to me with this military smartwatch and fitness tracker, I decided to give it a try. I'd never had a smart watch before. And I've got to say, for only 50 bucks, this watch does quite a bit. It's a touch screen that comes on automatically when I flip my wrist over. You've got numerous clock faces. It's a fitness tracker which provides blood oxygen, heart rate, sleep tracking, distance steps, calories. It also syncs up with my phone to both answer and make calls. I can play my MP3s off my phone with the watch. I can read messages and I can also view my call history the weather forecast, calculator, you can find your phone with it, it's got an alarm clock, camera control, it even reminds you when you've been sitting around for too long. And it's got a flashlight mode. This thing is rechargeable, it's a very easy magnetic connect. You can basically just drop the charger cord onto the watch and it will find the connections itself. A two hour charge provides about a month of standby time and about a week of normal use. And this watch is pretty tough. It's got heat resistance up to about 140 degrees, cold resistance well below freezing. It is IP68 waterproof, so it's corrosion resistant, drop resistant, shock resistant, and waterproof. This watch has been a lot of fun, and although it doesn't have a GPS and a map function, and the kinds of things that the really expensive three, $400 watches do, as far as just making life a little bit easier when it comes to technology, it's been really handy. When I am at work in a meeting or something and my phone is going off in my pocket, I don't even need to leave it on vibrate. I can just glance over at my watch and see what's going on, see if it's worth pulling the phone out. All right, so let's talk about this new bag I've been using lately. 
What I found to keep some of my normal pocket gear as well as several other helpful items is the TomTok Compact EDC X-Pack Sling Bag. A sling bag is a cross between a fanny pack and a messenger bag. It is worn on the back, it can be worn on the side, although it's not really meant to be, or it can be carried in a chest configuration. The idea is to give you something bigger than a standard fanny pack, but smaller than a messenger bag. And the way this one in particular is built, it basically just disappears. When it's on, I barely even notice the weight. I barely even notice the carry because it is very well balanced. The strap is fairly overbuilt. And what I really like about the sling bag configuration is that it is completely out of the way when you are not using it. Your arms can swing freely. It's just tucked into the small of your back but you can flip it around very easily and have all of your items right there in front of you, not hanging off the side of you with a big giant flap hanging over that you've got to get out of the way and dig through to get to your gear. It is meant for quick access, but it is not going to take up room on your waist, block access to pockets or anything else you might be carrying in the waistband. The TomTok Compact EDC comes in a couple of different materials. I went with X-Pack because it is natively waterproof and also very lightweight. This is a four liter bag measuring about 12 by six by three, weighs 11 ounces. In addition to the waterproof X-Pack material, they also use YKK waterproof zippers. It comes with a Duraflex buckle so that you can quickly remove the bag if you need to without even having to raise your arms up over your head. The only thing I don't like about this quick release buckle is that it remains quick release when it is behind me, making it easy for someone to come along, unclip it, and run off with the bag. To help mitigate this problem somewhat, I did place this elastic buckle cover from one of my first tactical bags over the TomTok. It does not come with this, nor, as far as I know, do they offer one. It's got three bright orange compartments, which I love. It makes it a lot easier to see what is inside. It's got a quick access front pocket with a couple of smaller pouches inside, a middle section that is divided in half lengthwise with two additional pouches hanging off of it, and a hidden back pocket. Now, what do I keep inside this bag? Well, because in the majority of the day, I do not need quick access to my keys or wallet, I have tried keeping them in the bag. My thought process is basically that as I'm simply moving around throughout the day, there are times when I'm going to need my phone right away, and there are times when I would want the knife. However, I am usually on my way somewhere before I need my keys or my wallet. It's not going to catch me by surprise, and so there's no reason to keep them in my pockets at all times. I have changed up my key ring recently. What I've got now is the Rovivon U4 Pro Carabiner Titanium Key Ring. This is a dual opening carabiner. It is super light, made out of titanium, but it's got a couple extra features kind of hidden away on the side. There's a small ruler, a dual bit screwdriver, and even a knife blade. So this is actually a pretty handy little key ring. And one of the things I really like about it is that the carabiner itself is actually small enough to just slip keys or alarm fobs on directly. So while I could use individual key rings for all of them, I don't have to. The one thing I do find strange about this carabiner key ring is that they put a lock on the screwdriver, but not on the knife blade. It seems to me that it would have been better to put a lock on both. Attached to this key ring is another carabiner. This one is called the Car Key Buckle Self-Protection Hook. <laughs> it's just something I got off one of those random websites. You can see the link in the description below if you are interested. But this is not only a carabiner, it's also a bottle opener and a glass breaker. Obviously, it could also be used for self-defense if you needed to. And while I have not broken any glass with it, I can affirm that I would not want to be hit with it. Moving on to my wallet, when I am not hiking and I don't feel the need to have a waterproof pouch, I go with the Apex Giant Ultralight Wallet. This thing is made of Kydex, titanium, and commercial grade elastic. It weighs barely over one ounce. It's got an RFID blocker, a money strap, and it can easily hold over a dozen cards. Apex Giant has dozens and dozens of really cool print layouts, but you can also get custom printing if you want. 
I keep the wallet in the back hidden compartment. Not that I really think that's going to defeat any kind of determined thief, but that's what it's there for, and it's easy to remember. Another item that recently went from pocket to bag is my multi-tool. This is the Leatherman Wave. I only recently started carrying a Leatherman, but honestly, now that I've got one, I don't know how I lived without it before. This one in particular has about 18 different tools, from pliers to wire cutters, strippers, different blades, different saws, scissors, a ruler, can and bottle openers, two different files, and screwdrivers. One of the coolest things about the Wave, though, is that the two blades are one-hand openers, and both the saws and the blades and several of the other tools lock in place, and so this keeps things a lot safer and allows you to use a lot more force with the tool than you would if it was just kind of your standard opening multi-tool. In the other pouch, I've been carrying a portable USB drive. This is the SanDisk 500 gigabyte Extreme. Being solid state, this drive weighs almost nothing, but this one is IP55 water and dust resistant. It can survive a two meter drop, and it comes standard with 256-bit AES hardware encryption. So if someone does steal this bag, they will not be able to access my files on the drive. In the front compartment, you not only have a couple of pouches where I just kind of keep miscellaneous items like some of my stickers, but you also have a retention strap with a small springed hook on it. I don't typically use these, but just to try it out, I clipped on my Phoenix E01 V2 keychain flashlight and a cool little knife from Steinbrook that I will be reviewing in a different video. Now inside the TomTok sling bag, I keep a Maxpedition mini pocket organizer pouch. This is a six by four by one clamshell opening pouch with a main compartment, dual zippers, a couple of slip pockets, a key leash with a clip, some elastic organizers, and a tie-down loop. It is Molly compatible, and this is where I keep my EDC tools. We'll start with the pen and the notebook. These are both made by Write in the Rain. These are pretty standard everyday carry items. The pen is ultra lightweight and it stores in itself, so you can actually take it apart and then put it back together like a standard size pen. Its permanent ink can write through water, grease, and mud without clumping or smearing. The notebook itself is also all weather. Its paper actually repels water, sweat, grease, mud, and the booklet is put together with rust-resistant staples. This is a wood-based paper that is completely recyclable. And the combination of these two is really nice. It means that even if you are in a pretty bad situation, weather-wise, you're still going to be able to leave someone a note or put down important reminders for yourself. I've got a little Ron Ron mini stainless steel pocket pry bar. It was fairly inexpensive. Seems like most of the EDC guys like their little pry bars, so I went ahead and got one. It's pretty cool, but honestly, I've never really used it for anything. Another multi-tool that I carry is the Utu wrench with nine screwdriver bits. This is an adjustable wrench. It's got a knife, it's got a flat and Phillips screwdriver, a bottle opener, and nine different size screwdriver bits that can be placed onto the screwdrivers to expand its usage. In addition to the multi-tool, I've got a box cutter. This is the Cobalt Utility Knife Speed Opening. It combines the features of a locking folder knife with a box cutter. My workhorse flashlight is the Nebo Slim Work Light. This is a 500 lumen flashlight that has numerous placement capabilities. It's got a very strong clip. It's also got a hook that it can hang from and two different magnets to either hold it vertically or horizontally. It's made of anodized aluminum and has a 10 hour rechargeable battery. I also keep a steel tie down. This is the Night Eyes original gear tie. It's an 18 inch rubber coated waterproof reusable wire gear tie that can be formed into multiple shapes. You can make hooks out of it. You can tie things down. It's just something additional I like to carry. And because it fits so well with everything else, I decided to toss it in there. All right, well, that is it for me. Let me know in the comments below what you are doing for everyday carry. I am always interested in new gear and gadgets. If you found the video at all helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel if you're into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it, even when you're not in the mountains. Until next time, I'm Doug. Thanks for watching.